happy Saturday guys. We are at the Rose Bowl. We are here to try Foodie Land. We know nothing about Foodie Land. So we are actually really excited uh, to come and check it out. We didn't do any research just so we can be surprised and bring you guys along so we can know what it is. Yeah. Has it, ever, has it ever been here? I think it might be like a Northern California thing. I don't know. But we're going to check it out. Um, what we read from, from the website was that there are over 150 vendors here. Mm. Um, it's a foodie inspired event. So that calls our name. And I'm just hungry. Yep. I'm hungry. We didn't eat anything just because we, we wanted to come. So we know nothing about what vendors are going to be here. We did see a giant screen right over there that looks like it has information of the, the vendors or pictures or something. Yep. I don't know. but. I did find this um, through Instagram ads, and that's how I bought the tickets. Tickets yeah. were five dollars, <laughs> and it's called the Foodie Land Night Market. And parking is free. It's here at the Rose Bowl, but it's only here this weekend. So it started Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. By the time you watch this, it will be gone. So make sure you check it out if it comes to your city. So are you ready? Yes, I am. All right, let's get to it. Oh, by the way, guys, masks are not required if you are vaccinated. Um, but bring it in and make you feel safer. Yep. Alright, let's go. Alrighty. Let's go toss the ball. Yay, tickets have been scanned and now we're ready to go in. They're not selling tickets at, at the door. They're only selling it to the event price um, on the website. But they do have a QR code that you can buy tickets. And the way that they, they sold the tickets was they sold it um, with the entrance with different hours. So we got the noon one, and it actually starts at 11, and it goes all the way to 10 p.m. But if you go on the website, you can actually buy tickets because they're still available. Okay. Right as we walk in, we see the bathrooms, which is great in case we have to go. All right, right as we're walking up to the gate, this is cool. They put a ton of um, Instagram photo walks, if you will. Woody Land Night Market. Good advice only. More like hot bike right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. It's kind of humid today. Yeah. All right, let's go in. All right, dude. Muscle and pearls is the first one I see. Ooh. All right, guys, let's go take a quick look first of what they're offering. We have Tim's high tea. So we got some ribs here. We're gonna go through, through the mall and then we'll decide. And then we will check back on you once we grab something. Mila's Kitchen Hawaii, home of the Rainbow Rise. They even have a cute Instagram photo up for you guys. They have poke here. Ooh, sounds delicious. Okay guys, so we got our first treat. This is from Simple Indulgence LA. And we got some information too, but let me show you. I did get a sugar, which, okay. I got a sugar cook, a sugar free cookie, yeah. chocolate chip. And I know that the, it's totally moot because like I ended up getting vanilla and strawberry syrup and gummy bears, but you know what? Deducting some points from it, right? <laughs> All right, so like I was saying, so I got vanilla, um, ice cream with gummy bears and a warm chocolate chip cookie because they do put it in the oven. They toast it up. Oh, cool. So it's easier to break it off. I'm excited. No, I lost my gummy bear. <laughs> How is it? I think the cookie is made with um, walnut. Oh, okay. Well, it's both chocolate nut, but 
It's really good. I think I'm gonna end up buying this by the way was nine dollars. I like that cookie. It's very crumbly. And then over the mussels and pearl are the mussels and the oysters and we have one it's called the OG. It's called garlic and brother and chili cheese. We have the boiled garlic aioli with herbs, the bad that has Thai inspired hot hot sauce topped with crispy onions, the ahi Peruvian style sauce made with cilantro, lime, and peppers, and the elote with garlic aioli topped with sweet yellow corn. I know there's six, so I think I one of them is could be normal. Like I was gonna say I don't see the corn. <laughs> they look like three and three. Hmm. All right, I'm ready to try. All right. So we established three mussels, three oysters with the signature sauces. I'm gonna try this one. I don't see any tables here. Oh, you know what? We're eating it through the shop. Hehehe. <laughs> 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 a little mussel. He never made home. <laughs> I saw that they put um, cheese on top. Oh, okay. And they're preparing it. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad? And then I'll try this one. Alright. So we stuck. You can't push it. <laughs> <laughs> it got stuck? There you go. Ooh. Got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, that's a nice cheese bowl. Easy cheese bowl. Okay. I think I like that one better. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I thought your oysters are better. No, the, the sauce. I, I like the sauce better. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right, you try this. All righty. I'm scared now because I feel like you want to buy spicy. Hmm? I'm scared now because I feel like... The red one. The red one's spicy. Okay. So that's the muscle. How's that sauce? Let me try that sauce a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of. That's citrusy. That tastes pretty good. It's like the cilantro based one. Yeah. You know what it reminded me of? A pesto? Mm. And since I'm not a huge fan of pesto, I think that's why I didn't go for that one. And I tried a white sauce. Oh, by the way, they give us red too as well. Mm -hmm. All right, here I go. Mm. Right? That one's good. Good. Yeah, I, I, okay, for what, what would you say? $25? Yeah. I do recommend it. It's a good uh, platter size. A little expensive, but you know what? We're at another foodie fair, another yeah. foodie event. It's gonna be good expensive. We're gonna finish this one off and then we're gonna go to the next one. Okay. Didn't we get water? Yes, we did. We got one second. Coconut. Coconut water. Coconut juice with foam. This was $3. Yes. All right, let's try this one first. All right, go for it. Oh look, you can see a little bit of coconut inside. It has pulp. And again, that one was three dollars. So this whole meal, meal right here, was close to thirty dollars. Not bad. Did they charge you tax? No, they didn't charge me tax. Yeah, they didn't charge me tax either. Unless they say tax included. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, so I need some refreshing drink of that coconut water. We'll finish this one off, and we'll see you at the next one. Alrighty. Guys, I have a hot Cheeto potato swirl thing and that looked really good but my brother's not a huge fan of hot cheetos so we just got the garlic parmesan so we are waiting for it oh my goodness this smells so good this is the potato swirl world the garlic parmesan very nice holy smokes this looks delicious i didn't expect it to be this big i right? did not expect it to look so good <laughs> and yet so big Oh my god. And we also got from Twinkle Brown Sugar, we got the summer sauces with um, Richie Jelly. Yep. So you can have boba or the strawberry pearls and or mango mango bites, but you know what? It looks super pretty. Yep. So Twinkle Brown Sugar. I like the lid. Look at that. It's like a paper lid. I guess oh, I was I supposed to remove that? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's an alcohol. You know what? It's hot and this looks delicious. So it's a summer solstice. Cause you know. Oh, I pick right. <laughs> summer time. 
I do have some water. It's a little sweet. Okay. But I do have some water. I believe in you. Oh my god, that is so delicious. <laughs> But it like had trouble biting it. Hmm. I didn't know where the, the stick was. Oh, okay. This is absolutely delicious. I love potato chips. And this is like the best thing ever. So it's it's a potato. And then you guys have seen all the Instagram things that the reels, they, they put the potato, they cut it up, they stick the, the, the stick in there, then they... Yank it up. Yeah, there you go and then they fry it. This is absolutely delicious. The garlic parmesan is the way to go. Before we leave, I need to get that um, hot cheetos one. Alrighty. Oh, they open up like sticks, like this. It's really good. Look at that. Wow. Oh, We're gonna get okay, so much weight. Okay. Is that really good? Yeah, it is. Yes. <laughs> Potato swirl world. Good job. Yeah. It's good, right? Yep. So they have barbecue, Cajun, sour cream, cheddar, garlic, parmesan, or the hot Cheetos. And they are all $10. Yep. By the way, the um, twinkle brown sugar was seven. So at, by the end of the night, I guess we can just total the tally up how much we spent. Yeah. But you know what? The food so far has been delicious, so it's so worth it. Mm -hmm. And also, guys, you can pay card or cash. I think they're doing 50 cents per card swipe. Yeah. Um, as a fee, uh, I would say bring cash. It makes yeah. it makes things a lot easier. Why come to these fairs? Always bring cash. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, there could be little bugs in the system. So. Yeah. Beware. Okay. Let's keep going to the next one because we can walk and eat with this one. Okay. Let's go. Alrighty. Onward. Onward. Oh look, here's a the giant thing. Screen. Screen day. Mm -hmm. You mean the menu of all sorts? I thought the menu, but it looks like more Instagram posts. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, let's go to the next next booth. I, you know what would be smart if they actually had those uh, posts? Oh, they had my posts? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're posts of the vendors and say, hey, see yes. our food. That would be great. Yeah. Okay, you can work here. There's a marketing thing. Okay. No, they don't want me. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want me? I don't want them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next, next booth. Guys, right. okay, time to cross the bridge up to the other side. There's more stuff right behind us, but we're actually gonna head on over here. Oh, I see enchiladas. Oh, lobster house. You wanna hit that one first? <laughs> they have grilled main lobsters. Okay guys, take a look at this. This is $38. This is the full lobster or whole lobster with garlic noodles. This looks absolutely delicious. And then I, I by the way, this is a truffle lobster. And then I got a regular lobster for 30. And this is the full lobster. I am excited for this noodles. By the way, we have music over here. garlic on it. It's just a big little salt. 
difficulty for me. But the big winner is the lobster, right? Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Oh, this is watering, by the way. Mm -hmm. So as you guys saw, they do put them on the on the grill. It's absolutely delicious. It's so tender. It's so good. I wonder if it tastes different if I put some. Cute to eat. <laughs> so apparently it's um, passion fruit mousse, the mango, peach jelly, and cake. Oh. Okay, I need to take a picture of this one. Did you take a picture yet? Not yet. Oh, it's sleeping and now I have to eat it. But like you can see the texture looks like it's fur. The texture in it is actually delicious. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I can stand it up. I'm so sorry. Oh look, there's the cake. Oh well, there it is. That smells delicious. <laughs> Ear fur. You killed the bear! It's delicious! <laughs> Passion fruit um, ice cream, the mango, the cake. It's absolutely delicious on a, on a hot day. Oh my god, it's good. The whole my teeth. <laughs> you can see a little bit of the passion ring now, the color. There you go. <laughs> $14. Okay. A little pricey, but I would buy it again. <laughs> Actually, go buy your own. <laughs> I see how it is. Ooh. It didn't hurt my teeth. All right, it's, it's frozen. Oh my god, it's so good. Is it? How good is it? Oh good. Something unexpected I try, like you think of trying. To be honest, um, when I saw the picture of it, I thought it was like mochi, but it's ice cream. It's yep. so good. It's so cute. It is a texture texturing it. Mm -hmm. The meat pies look good. Mm. Like, um, like, uh, Sweetie Todd. Mrs. Yeah. Love It. Time for the cheese wheel pasta. We saw this one when we were walking by. It looks delicious. So from what I see is that they have the, they have the cheese wheel right there. And the pasta is nice and hot. And as they start curling in it, it melts the cheese and, it just sounds delicious, right? I think these carbs are... These carbs are our food. Carb-worthy. Yeah, they're carb-worthy. That's the word. And then they have four flavors. They have the original, the prosciutto, the garlic lobster, and the black truffle cream. But since we already have the lobster right now and the truffle, we're going to get the prosciutto. All right. And by the way, these are $40 for original, $25 for garlic lobster, $25 for the truffle cream, and $22 for prosciutto. Ooh, a quick update. I don't know. I went to go throw something in the trash and I saw because they gave them to you in a box. I saw the box in the trash. It was full of pasta. Oh. Does this mean it's not good? Mm. I'm scared. It's $22. <laughs> That's almost half the lobster. Give me the truffle. Mm, could be. The truffle was a bit too much for us. So after we're done here, because it's so loud here, after we're done, we'll give you a review uh, on it. And again, since it ends tomorrow, Sunday, you guys might not be able to catch it, but we did hear that this is more of like a Northern California thing. So apparently it's in the Bay Area and Berkeley. Like again, like I said, this is our first time we heard about yeah. it. Live in the Bay Area? Go for it. Yeah. See, see how it is. It's not going to be all the same, but it's something similar. Yeah. I don't know if it's kind of like the fair where like it's just the road trip type of thing. So I don't know. You guys might be able to tell us in the comments.
are just six corn dogs. So I think these are kind of like Korean corn dogs for the TV. I got the caster for eight dollars and I got the unicorn for ten. I'm nervous about the unicorn. Take a look at that guys, the prosciutto one with sun-dried tomatoes. Let's take a quick picture. This is hefty. 22 bucks. This is like $40 here, family style at Buka. <laughs> okay, let's take a picture. Ooh, okay, so we got the Casper and the unicorn. So not exactly how they look. Are those sprinkles? Yes. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Are we ready for this? Yes. It's still pretty warm, but it, I, don't, it, I don't think it's as cheesy. Free sticker. I, free sticker! I don't think it's as cheesy as it looked before. It's cheesy. It's not melty cheesy, but it's not bad. So there's, it's missing a little flavor. The sauce and cheese are missing a little flavor. But you get enough from the saltiness from the prosciutto. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of sun-dried tomatoes. But we'll take a bite. Like this. Uh -huh. It's just missing a little flavor. I don't know if, I don't know how the or original would be if they would add um, more Parmesan or something. But it's definitely missing a little salt. You get salt with the prosciutto. Yeah. I did not like the sun-dried tomatoes. They're too sweet for me. I find it shareable, but I, I really want to take a bite of these. All right. So I'm going to trade you for that. We're going to start with the unicorn. And what I'm thinking is that the cheese has different colors. Okay, I'm not too excited about the rainbow sprinkles. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Yeah, let's go find mama. Yeah, we don't need anything else. I'm gonna tell you right now, I didn't like that part. It has sugar. It literally tastes like a, a cheesy churro. Yeah? I'm so happy I got the, the casserole. Hey, what, you're gonna ghost that uh, unicorn? Mm -hmm. Look at your pepperoncinis. I know. No. All right, yellow, yellow pepper. When I get Korean cheese corn dogs, I never get salt, I mean sugar. Yeah. So it kind of throws me off. Looks like you enjoyed that cheese roll. <laughs> More than I should. <laughs> Oh, that was really good. I didn't care for that. But you like the guesser a lot? Mm-hmm. And your yellow peppers? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's hollow. I ate all the cheese. <laughs> yeah, it's just sweet for me. It just, it's, it's like a cheesy churro, and gotcha. it didn't do the trick for me. I think the pasta's better than, than the, that one. All right, your turn. All right. Let's try the infamous unicorn. Oh no, it's leaping to the combos. That's good. <laughs> you have to try it. You guys are probably like, you're still not done eating? No. Oh. What do you think? Right? It's like a cheesy churro. Mm -hmm. But the Casper one has like some sort of like rumlet sauce on it. So if you guys want it, it's called the Ghost Sticks Corn Dog Shop. They have a Lucifer, a Gizmo, and then I can't remember the other one. It's almost kind of in front of the cheese wheel. All right, this is the one that I've been waiting for, and I know I'm gonna get the mojito. It's alcohol infused. Which one do you want? I want the Captain Choco, Choco Chip. Good choice. Hey. I believe they're, I believe it's five dollars. And what it says, it says organic rice milk, sweet sugar, beets. That's right. Can't beat the sugar. I don't like beets, and they're dairy free, and apparently they're vegan. Mm. Hashtag my vegano. Five bucks each. Let's go. There they are, the Captain Choco Chip, just like my brother wanted, organic rice milk, we're making coffee and chocolate, and I got the mojito, which is, has white rum infused mint leaves and lime juice, I'm so excited. Five dollars, five dollars is for each. I mean, am I crazy or does that sound super cheap? Huh. For, for like fair stuff? Yeah. Ooh, they have Italian ice cream too. Ooh. Okay, let's start with this one. All right. Okay, so it has 110 calories, 27 grams of carbs. Let's hope it's worth it. Alright. It, it comes, comes like this. It's actually pretty cool how they're packed. I thought they were going to be different, not like mm. super packed. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my god, that smells so good. Oh yeah, so you could definitely taste the mint and lemon. Oh, it's definitely like a mint and lemon flavor. 
buy them on the door, believe me. That's really good. That is so good. You can barely taste the rum in it. Oh yeah, you can't even taste the rum. It's delicious. Hashtag my vegano. Hey. You get a heads up. The mojito um, has alcohol infused, so you guys uh, have problems with alcohol. Just um, give it a heads up. Or it's not for kids either. Yeah. Also, I thought they were gonna ask for my ID or something. This one has 24 carbs. How come this one's less carbs than the mojito? Alcohol. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Okay, we've been eating ice cream wrong all the time. Why? It is delicious. Don't let them get to you. Come back to the light side. Oh my god. You can definitely taste the coffee. You can definitely taste the chocolate. Okay. Sold, 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 sold. $5 for your delicious popsicle. Mm -hmm. Alright, guys, next to the. What's it called? Vegano? The ice cream we found Pop Sanity right here. Here's their card. I um, mean, we tried their popcorn and we got the bull buffalo and the parmesan. All items are ten dollars, and we got our goodies right here. It's actually really good. The bull buffalo reminds me a lot of the one sold at Epcot, and parmesan. You love parmesan, and everything. <laughs> so I'm excited. He's so sweet. So these cones were actually $12. The cheese sauce is extra. And we got one with Cajun and one with house blend. I can honestly tell you, I don't know which one's which. This is the house uh, blend. Mm -hmm. This is the Cajun. Ooh, I don't like this. It has little feather things, but let me try this. Just this saying one. hello. Let's see if I could do this gracefully. All right. Without, no, I don't think so. I believe in you. Thank you. Thank you, Linus. Okay. They're not bad. They taste just like a Jerome or yeah. pork, pork rinds, if you will. But since I'm not a huge fan of, of chicken skin, mm -hmm. I don't think this is one of my favorite things. No. Which one was that one? I think Cajun. This seasoning is a little too salty for me. No, this is Cajun. Oh my God, this is so much better because it's spicy. <laughs> Sorry. Huh? My goodness, everything's better when it's really spicy. Mm -hmm. Can yeah. we be better without the being spicy? No. No? Um, the Cajun one is so much better. Yeah. It's just, just like, like pork skin. It's like, holy cow. Yes, it is. Good Cajun, guys. That one's a little too salty for me. The Cajun's better, and I changed my review. Eight out of ten. Oh my goodness. Chickaboo, chickamon, Instagram, chickaboo. Mm -hmm. I get it. So, since you have salty, you became salty. No, there are a lot of repeats on this one. This enchilada boost was the first one we saw when we came in. It says three for ten. La Monarca Casa de las Flautas. I'm gonna give it a go. Because I think that's something different compared to everything else. Everything else is like poke, sushi, ribs. Let's try it out. We got chicken and cheese. I think I'm gonna go for cheese. Alright guys, first initial, I will tell you they look delicious. La Monarca Flautas. Don't forget the underscores. Alright guys, three for ten. They have chicken or cheese. I got the cheese one. I gotta tell you, this is a hefty hefty plate for ten dollars it looks good she asked me if i wanted spicy sauce and i said yes it does have pickled carrots and pickled red onions tomatoes some lettuce um queso fresco and then more tomatoes there a jalapeno sour cream enchiladas are actually one of my favorite things to eat ever just because i love tortillas and i love salsa oh and there's stuff with with queso fresco i have high hopes Come on, Monarca, don't let me down. Okay, their sauce is really good. I could do without the tomatoes, but their sauce is really good. 
It's good spicy and it's perfect. I think they would be a hundred times better if they were warm. They are pretty cold. Oh no. I think part of that is because um, all the stuff that goes on top of it, it, make, it cools them down fast, especially with the sauce. I feel like I need a knife. Oh, you got it. You got it. Good. good right if they were warm it would just be a little better yeah but again i feel like they got cold because um all, all the toppings that go on top i think we're gonna call it a day yeah we're pretty stuffed i think we're done we're done for the day it was such a great day coming here to foodie land too bad this is only a, a weekend thing because i would love to come back next week or something but we had fun it was fantastic stay with us we're about to leave and then we'll give you a full review back in the car. This event actually ends at 10 p.m. But it's roughly around 5.30 now. Yeah. But I'm topping out. There's also not a lot of places to sit down and take a little rest. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's time to go home. So the nice lady told me that um, to, before I open it, to shake it upside down so that way she get the sticky stuff inside and mix it with the rest of the soda. And actually, it's, actually, it's a soda. I didn't know that. All right, let's go find my sister. This is the pineapple soda, aka summer. And so they have some lychee on it in, underneath here. I can see the syrup. Yep. So the lady, the lady told me to shake it, so upside down. I'm scared because I think it's right in here, right? Yep. I'm gonna go all over my Trader Sam's. <laughs> I think it's good enough. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. It's a little bear bottle. This is a large one for 11. Yes. Pretty good. Yeah. What's up, my man? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Hey, I'm chilling. Yeah, it's just one menu. Oh, just one menu? Probably three times. Oh, okay. Clap up the pan. Get that nice mint smell. It's frozen. Watch out, stay low, stay low. Is it like an ordinary machine or you guys order it? Uh, custom machinery that we had to order. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, yeah. It's legit stuff, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the juice is so refreshing. It's so amazing. What can I get for you, my man? Yeah, absolutely. One soul cleanser coming right up. And we can get free refills. Too bad we're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh my 
Look at your little bib, like what the heck? <laughs> um, if you think you could drink it from there, you can't. It has a little opening there where you stick your straw in there. Okay. So. All right, can I say something? Yeah. This is not meant for a drink. This is actually a piggy bank. Oh, get out of here. All right, don't mind if I do. No, seriously. Uh, no, by looking at it, that's what I, I kind of thought it was weird about this opening here. Is that this is meant to pick a bank. This is for the baby shower. So yeah, like that's what they use. They're using the baby, sh uh, baby shower piggy banks for the drinks. All right, so I got you the peach pink lemonade. All right. Oh, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> it's sweet, but it's actually really good. Okay, we totally lied. This is the last thing we wanted to get the Angry Birds. Well, we did get meat pies, but we talked about that in the car. But look how cool this is. So this was the hardest decision because I love Angry Birds, but the red, the red Angry Bird is my favorite. But I wanted the hibiscus peach tea, so we had to go with the blue. It says limit time only. And you know what it says limit time only means? Buy me, buy me. <laughs> this is really cool. All right, let's go to the car and try them out. Oh, we're done. Let's call it a night. Yep. Thanks again for hanging out with us. Don't forget to check us out over back to the Don't forget to get the underscores on Instagram. We'll be seeing you later and also in the car because we need to give you a quick review. It was yes. too loud in there for us to tell you what we thought. We did get the medium sized baby bottle. And like I said, we got the Angry Bird one. We're going to try this one, the Shuriken. Well, actually, we're going to try three. Yeah. But you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> we're going to try all three in the car and we'll give you our, our quick review of foodie land even though it's only for three days but we're so excited yep first time here it's not bad let's just go to the car real quick all right we'll see you now okay we're back in the car yes. that was an experience yes it was the food was actually delicious mm -hmm. i would say it was worth the price i think the only one that kind of was a, a little let down was the, the the cheese on the stick really yeah the the um, like I said, the rainbow one was kind of like a like a cheese churro. Yeah, cheese churro. I yeah, yeah, that was not for me. To me, the letdown was the lobster plate. Oh yeah. I, I, I think I had, I had high expectations for the lobster plate, but when I when I received it, it felt like not mad, but I feel like less work than it is. Mm. They did give you the claw, but the thing is that they they don't open the claw for you, so you can kind of. You have to drink it out of there. You have to it out of there. Yeah. It was okay. It wasn't something spectacular. Um, the lobster, I kind of got, I kind of got annoyed with the flavor of the truffle one with yours. But mine mm. was good. My, the butter one was good. But yeah, I do agree. Um, they don't open the claws. So it's kind of like, am I supposed to like? It's like here you go. Here's extra mm. meat, buddy. Yeah, crap. am I supposed to be like an animal? But you know what? Thirty dollars for mine. Thirty-eight for yours. You get a full lobster, um, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's good, but it's whatever. The chicken boo, yeah, your the pork yeah. rinds of the chicken. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I changed my mind. The Cajun one is delicious. I, I like the Cajun a lot too. Yeah, the Cajun was really good. The, uh, the house dress and house plan is salty, trust me, we will salt. Yeah, it's so salty that my sister gave a better review for it. <laughs> I got salty. And I got so dehydrated after I tried that. Yes. Yeah, it was, it was not like that. This is really healthy. Um, the the drinks were delicious, by the way. Yeah, there are different types of drinks that are really delicious. Here's the baby bottle. And free refills, like, holy crap. This is definitely a good souvenir. I saw a lot of moms buying the, the small size. I believe this is like 25, I think. Mm -hmm. um, buying the small size for the kids because you get free refills on everything. Yeah, actually, like, it's a better deal. Like, for example, you're want to try all the food and you don't want to get drinks get the baby bottle because you get free, you can get a free refill we ended up getting meat pies yes have you guys ever seen sweetie pie sweetie sweetie pie <laughs> have, you sweetie ever, pie. Thank you. have you guys ever seen sweetie all right play the movie if you guys ever seen sweetie todd with mr why am i forgetting his name Johnny Mrs. Love it. Mrs. Love it. No, with, Mr. with Johnny Depp and um, Helena Bonham Carter. God, that woman is fantastic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it is. I love that movie, but I got traumatized. Oh, okay, totally different story. Not what you meant, but I totally got traumatized with it. And I couldn't eat meat for like like months after I saw Tony Todd. Fantastic movie, by the way. 
Um, but I ended up getting meat pies. Yep. <laughs> because that's all I could think of. I just mm -hmm. love it. A customer. A foodie land? I, nine out of ten. Yeah. Nine out of ten. I think the only the only thing that was kind of like a bust is that they don't have a lot of seating, which, okay, I understand. It's great that they don't have a lot of seating because it gives it um, a little more room for like open space. Yes. Everyone can, you know, have long lines and everyone can maneuver and stuff like that. But some of the dishes are kind of hard to eat, like the lobster. Mm -hmm. Those, I, I I desperately was looking for a table or a bench or something. It was on a bench. Yeah. The, the rest of the, the meals we can totally eat standing up. You got your blue thing. You got a little bluebird. <sighs> Mr. Bluebird on your shoulder. <laughs> the sugar cane drink, you guys, absolutely fantastic. It's real sugar cane. It's not fake sugar cane. It's just I have the video amazing. to prove it. <laughs> it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. So you said something about about that. Oh yeah. Uh, so what they had was a customized machine to allow them to juice the sugar cane uh, with the with any like for some with the lemon or like for some I got made lemonade um, sugar cane juice. So they put the lemon inside and they actually the machine squeezed the sugar cane with the lemon to infuse the lemons with the, with the sugar cane juice. Absolutely delicious, guys. Highly recommend that. I don't know how much of that one was, but we'll write it down. That one was $8. Oh, $8. There you go. For just regular sugar uh, cane juice, it's $7. Oh, wow. That's not bad. A yeah. dollar more just for, just for, for flavor. flavor? Yeah. Perfect. Um, I, yeah, I gotta say, the, the drinks were delicious. They do have vendors and they do have some of some stuff to, for sale and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Patches and whatever. But it's mainly a foodie festival if you like eating if you like food if you just want to walk around and eat and drink they do have alcohol for those yes. of you that want some i believe the alcohol um, stand is the only one that takes cards the one so far we saw they did not take cards i recommend bringing cash it was yes. so much easier so much more convenient i know that you know it's, it's easier just to hand the, the credit card and whatever and also for these small vendors the companies they kind of charge on these small businesses so it's easier for them to use cash yeah. Instead of using card because every time you use a card, every it, time you swipe, every time you swipe, it cut, they take a cut from this. Yes. That's why some of the booths will say, "Oh, um, twenty dollar minimum purchase for a card." Yeah. So that's a, like, if you are going like these small festivals or these small foodie events, I recommend you take cash. Oh, there's one more, and there's a booth that actually actually accept Bitcoin. We'll see tune for the next foodie event that they have at the festival because you guys know we like eating. So yeah. let us know what was your favorite part. Mm -hmm. And always check us out over Perfect and Perfect, everybody. Don't forget the underscores over Instagram. I will try to tag as many I can on the post so you guys can check them out. Oh. <laughs> oh. What? You've got the red one. <laughs>